friends, it's Gwen and I am back with a very quick tutorial video for you today. So I am mid layout and my ATG has run out of tape. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to go through how I reload my ATG. Okay, so step one is pour yourself a glass of wine because you're going to need it, friends. Uh, this is not a fun job. Uh, I definitely have a love-hate relationship with my ATG, uh, so wine is necessary. Step two, uh, get the, uh, the lid of the ATG gun uh, up and open so that you can expose the uh, tape beneath. You'll also need to fuss with this little tab here on the right. Uh, there are instructions on it, but I tend not to read those instructions. Um, just give it a little wiggle until it, um, it comes loose. And now you can quickly and easily remove the uh, leftover tape there. That's um, just the leftover paper that the tape sits between and you're ready for another glass of wine. So next up, you need to remove the center part from the uh, previous tape roll. So that just gets discarded. And now the fun stuff happens. Now we get to uh, figure out which way the tape roll uh, goes on to your ATG. Now, the best way that I have found to uh, be able to do this is to uh, initially look at the arrows that are on the gun there because they do give you um, some clues. Um, but, but you also really need to, I find that I'm best when I second guess myself a little and just sort of try it out in a few, in a few ways um, and, and then maybe cross check that with the, with the markings on the gun. Um, so as you can see there, tape is on the left and then I am just going to feed it through and uh, hopefully uh, follow along with the arrows that are marked on the gun there. Now you do need to press the trigger here because if you don't, the tape won't move. I have learned that one as well. Um, and yeah, see, I'm just lining it up there with the arrows and then pulling the trigger a little bit just to extend the tape there across to uh, the right hand side. We're now going to lock the tape into position on the right. So just wiggle it through uh, the little markings there. And I'm lucky I have a little bit of tape residue that is going to help stick that down. And I will wind it forward here a little bit just to, um, yeah, to help lock it into position. And then we get to celebrate friends. Uh, so uh, yeah, it's time for uh, another glass of wine. And that's the hardest part done now, friends. So all we have to do is pop this little uh, piece back onto uh, the wheel there. Again, uh, like in the beginning of the video, don't bother reading the instructions. Just give it a little wiggle, have a, a play, and um, see if you can get that back on there. Uh, slam the lid shut and uh, give it a little test run. If you don't hear any strange noises, it's time to celebrate with wine. Thank you so much for being here, my creative friends. I hope this tutorial helped you to load your ATG and I'll see you in the next video.